talking about convicted killers who could be walking out of prison and getting a second chance. The victims' families are fighting very, very hard to prevent it. You got a question. Please yes, stand up. Hello. Um, I would like to direct this to Mr. Danziger. Um, first of all, you um, just initially tried to divert the subject from um, nonviolent criminals and, and criminals. I think you were trying to actually confuse the issue a bit. Violent criminals, and, and I know this because my mother was murdered in 1993, um, I do not believe that they should have a chance because I have been handed down a life sentence along with all of those people on the stage, along with Mr. Walsh, and these people, you believe that they should have a second chance to put people like myself and all of these people in the audience as potential other victims? Even? You know, this is hard for me because I, I feel like I'm sort of swimming in a shark tank right now. But, <laughs> you know, as someone who has represented a lot of people who've committed crimes, um, as a lawyer, you know, whose my duty is to my client in these situations, I just, I, I respect where you're coming from. I think your voice needs to be in a very important part of the system. And I don't think it is enough of a part of the system up to now. But, I will say this, as I said earlier, I don't think people are necessarily irredeemable. When we talk about murder, it can mean a lot of different things. It can mean and kills him. Should that woman be punished at the same level as the serial killers who killed the lovely woman that we talked about earlier in the show? No, and I think these distinctions need to be made. I don't think every person who commits murder is irredeemable and should not be given a second chance. You know, we're human beings. We can make choices in life. In a split second, if someone decides to make that decision that will change not only that one person's life, but all the people that are left behind, they shouldn't get another chance. They should be behind bars for the rest of their lives. And I, I quite frankly, don't know how you can look at yourself in the morning, how you can get up and put on a suit and feel proud about the work that you're doing. See.